You're listening to Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. You see, we're dialing it down a little bit here, <laughs> the Almond in the Morning show. A little Claire de Lune, right? It's beautiful. Relax a little bit. Sure. We're all very happy. We don't have to worry about tweets or negative people. <laughs> we can just step back a little bit. I like it. And talk about some art, shall we? Sounds beautiful. Do you realize that we have a museum of art here in St. Louis that is ranked number four among college museums around the country? Do you realize that? Too cool. And do you realize that we have a connection to this museum via a great man named Richard Winner, who is the owner of the Garden View Care Centers? And the Garden View Care Centers, of course, one of the premier supporters of this radio show and indeed this radio station. And we are really happy that Richard Winner is a friend of ours. Hi, Richard Winner. Hello, I don't have him. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. How are you, Fred? I'm doing great. I don't usually get up this early because <laughs> I have other people that actually go to the nursing homes to take care of everybody. Sure. But I'd be moving over there probably about 8.30. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I love your employees. I always love to talk about them because they're very happy. And one of the reasons why they're happy is because Richard Winter takes really good care of them. And that means they're taking really good care of your loved ones. So I want to make sure you, you know that. But Richard, aside from being an expert in the field of uh, care, memory care, at the Garden View Care Centers, he is also a Renaissance man. He's, he's, well, I know. You, you be, I like to call you that because you are a huge supporter of the arts in town here. Jazz, St. Louis, I mean, you, you name it. Richard Winner and his wife, Kathy, are very involved in all kinds of different areas of our culture here in St. Louis. And, and without them, a lot of things wouldn't necessarily happen. We are really pleased to announce the opening of this beautiful, beautiful painting exhibit. And Petruda Lepon, how, how are you, Petruda, by the way? Nice to see you again. Thank you. Every once in a while, we have the privilege of seeing you when you all have a wonderful exhibit. And, of course, uh, the last one involves some of the collections of Richard Winters. And he is adding more to his collection as well uh, with the beautiful, beautiful art of Leo Ray. He was born in Vilnius, Lithuania, and he is living in Tel Aviv, Israel. And for now, he is right here in the studio with us, and I'm pleased to have Leo Ray. How are you, sir? Thank you. I'm well. Thank you very much. Well, it's nice to have you in, and your paintings are beautiful. I, I saw them only in the format, because I can't wait to see them as the museum opens its exhibit as we head into Friday here. Thank uh, you. And I've, I've only seen them really in the in the printed form, but, but they're beautiful. And it's the exhibition called Infinite Painting. Yes. Opening to the public as we head into Friday. And thank you for all of this, and thank you for being part of this community in this fashion. And can you describe in any way, shape, or form, sir, I know it's always hard to, to ask a painter to describe his painting, uh, but tell me about it. Yes. Uh, thank you for your question, and uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, thanks to Richard Winter, uh, I have an opportunity to show my works in the museum, thanks to Petruta, yeah. who is the curator of the museum. Uh, well, this painting uh, started like a diary. I painted four canvases, then I ad added more, and uh, I intend to continue it uh, all the time. So thus the infinite painting title. Thus the in infinite painting. Uh, now it consists of uh, more or less 98 canvases. I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to add more. So now what what prompted you to begin this? So so some painters will just paint a painting and that's it. But what, does, what made you decide that this was going to be infinite? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, Exactly. You said what I thought. Uh, painters just paint a painting and go on. 
Um, and I wanted to do something significant, so one work which I could name, okay, this is mine. Um, that's all. Yeah, and, and unique, too. Uh, yes. So, yes. so when you, well, let's go back to the first one, the, fir- the very first painting. What, yes. What, what is that telling us? Well, there are, um, it had a melancholy mood. There are some figures there. One is um, a young man who is um, um, in a state of poetic thinking, let's say so. And there are two portraits, one of them uh, of my student, former student, and uh, the third portrait is uh, imaginary. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I made a, a friend for her. It, yeah, well, that's, it, it, it's beautiful. I mean, the colorings and, and the stylings are beautiful. I know everybody likes to compare them to other artists and things like that. And artists, they, they, that's the worst thing you could possibly do is explain to an artist their work through the work of other artists. So it's very unique. It's beautiful. And, I mean, there's a little bit of primitivity there. There's a little bit of the color there. It's just all, all very, very beautiful. And Petruda... As a as the as a premier art museum in town here, which congratulations by the way, thank you on that ranking. Thanks uh, a lot. And, and and as a curator, how does this artwork stand out to you? It stands out in the sense that uh, first of all, it's very different than what we have shown so far. At the same time, it brings uh, um, a continuity to what we do. We show a variety of uh, styles, uh, artists that are showing in different styles, and uh, also we try to bring. Uh, uh, we show not only artists that are in St. Louis, but also artists that are throughout the country and now throughout the world. And uh, before opening this exhibit here, the artworks were in Lithuania in another exhibition. They closed there in the middle of January and they uh, arrived in St. Louis at the beginning of February. So uh, I was really happy that I had the opportunity to fit it in our schedule and uh, to, to bring another perspective, global perspective, of, uh, from an artist point of view. Well, the Winter Family Collection is one of the sponsors, or is the sponsor of this exhibit, which is opening to the public on, is it today? Tonight's the VIP, tomorrow is opening to the public, correct? Yes, tomorrow it's opening to the public from 5 to 8. There is complimentary parking available at Knish's Lot, located at the northwest corner of Lindell Boulevard and Spring Avenue. And the entrance is from the Lindell Boulevard. St. Louis University Museum of Art, an absolutely uh, beautiful setting there as well. And now, Leo, when we when it comes to your paintings, like if somebody were to... like like uh, One thing, if, if, if Picasso paints a painting, you can get that painting you can buy the painting or buy a reproduction of it uh if if, if it's an infinite painting yes uh, what do i do because uh i don't uh, i don't know <laughs> nothing to do. it's not your problem is it <laughs> yes <laughs> i love it and that's what's great about it and that furthers the the independence and the beauty in this and the and the uniquity of this project that you're doing now is because uh it's it's something that we have to take in ourselves in whatever form we we want to do that and that's what kind of your design correct yes thank you well uh it's great to have you in and congratulations on on your beautiful work thank you very much and P- Petruda st louis university art museum congratulations on this uh premier ranking Thank you. We are really happy to bring uh, the attention to St. Louis uh, and St. Louis University Museum of Art, which is part of the Grand Center, and we are really happy to contribute to to the promotion of Grand Center as well. Well, thank you very much for being with us, Petruda. And Leo Ray, congratulations. Yes, Richard Winter. Thank you. All right, so I just want to tell you something about buying artwork from yes. Leo. So, because I've heard this now, not directly, but I heard that what he does is there's uh, images that he has two canvases, three and four, that make up uh, actually a, a, p- a piece of work. Right. They're fairly large. Uh, but what has happened, I understand, and Leo, you can tell me if I'm incorrect, but if somebody sees something they like, he has actually in the past sold like maybe two or three of the images and they take that away 
and that forces him to replace it with something else uh, as creative as what uh, he sold. Oh, wow. Yes. So there is opportunities yeah. like that in the past with the way this program has gone, and that's why he's got to keep painting pieces for this particular uh, exhibit. The one other thing is that, and I was going to, I think Petruda's going to let me say a couple of words tonight to the people that are coming, but I look at Infinity two ways with him because I spent some, I got the sneak pre preview yesterday with him. They let us go take a look before t uh, tonight's opening. And so uh, I look at it because there's so many paintings and they just keep going around uh, the museum. And then, but what happens is there's so much in each painting that you have to keep, you have to start over. <laughs> so you're constantly going in this circle of looking at the artwork because, well, I didn't see it the first time. Now I see it, and then the third time you see it again, but you see different things, and they're they're very very intricate uh, and beautiful. And uh, uh, the one cool thing about it is, it's all from the inspiration that he gets himself, um, because. Uh, he doesn't really use models or things like that. Yeah. So they're very, very beautiful pieces and more interesting than most of the artwork that I've actually collected in the past. Right. Well, the way you describe it, the fact that the, the word infinite could not be a better description for the work on a number of different levels, whether you're making it, Leo Ray, or viewing it, Richard Winner, and that's pretty awesome. Well, thank you very much for being with us, you guys, and we'll see you tonight. Uh, tomorrow, when, when at five o'clock, it opens to the public. So, congratulations, and we really appreciate you sharing this with us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Jamie. All Thank right, you. and don't forget, folks, for your loved ones, the Garden View Care Centers are just amazing. And I want you to check it out at gvcc.com. Mike Zolman, nice to see you too, buddy. It's Common Sense Radio.